Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to enable server-side disk encryption for your virtual machine disks with a customer managed key. For that, the first thing that we need is a virtual machine on Azure. Let me create the virtual machine and a resource group. Alright, our virtual machine is ready now. Let me go to Azure portal and to that resource group. Here we have the virtual machine. If I go in and go into disks, here we have the operating system disks of the virtual machine. Now if I go in and go into encryption, here we have the option to enable encryptions. But you can't enable encryption for disks that are attached to running virtual machines. So before configuring encryption, you should go to your virtual machine and deallocate the virtual machine. Let me do that now. Alright, now I'm going back to disks and to my OS disk to encryption. Since I have just deallocated my virtual machine, it'll take some time for this to get updated. Alright, as you can see, we have three options here. The first one is the default one, that is encryption at rest with a platform managed key. What we want to do is enabling encryption at rest with a customer managed key. For that, the first thing that we need is a key. For creating a key and storing it, we need a key vault resource on Azure. For that, let me go back to the resource group and then I'm going to create a key vault. Alright, here I'm going to name it and then the region. After that, the pricing tier and then I don't want purge protection for this demo key vault. The key vault deployment is complete now. I'm going into the key vault and then we need to create a key for encrypting the disks. I'm going into keys and then I'm going to generate or import here. I'm going to select generate option and then let's name the key. And after that, all these settings I'm going to keep as it is and then I'm going to create the key. All right, now the key is ready. The next thing that we need for encrypting disks is disk encryption set. For creating that, let me go back to the resource group and then I'm going to create a disk encryption set. After creating this, we are going to associate the key to this disk encryption set and after that, we are going to associate this disk encryption set to the disk that we want to be encrypted. Alright, and then let me change the region. Now we have the option to select whether I want to have double encryption or not. I'm going with this option here and then we can select the key vault. I'm selecting the key vault and then I'm selecting the key that I have created and the version and then I'm going to review and create. Alright, our disk encryption set is ready. Let me go into that resource and here we should give permission for this disk encryption set to access our key vault. For that, the only thing that you have to do is click on this message. As you can see, we are getting successfully granted permissions. Now, if I go into the resource group again and to that key vault and to access policies, we have the disk encryption set that we have created. Now I'm going back to the resource group and to the virtual machine disks. And if I go into the OS disk and encryption, we can enable encryption at rest with custom managed key by selecting the disk encryption set that we have just created. As you can see here, it's showing me the key vault and also the key that will be used for encrypting the disk. I'm going to select that and save it. All right, successfully updated the disk. Now I'm going back to the virtual machine and then I'm going to start it. At this point, we have enabled the encryption with the customer managed key for the OS disk of this virtual machine. Now let's RDP into it. As you can see, you don't have to do any other configuration. The virtual machine is functioning normally. And today we learned how to enable server-side disk encryption with a customer managed key. If you have any further questions or comments, let me know down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today and thanks for watching.